Okay guys, um, it's like five o'clock-ish or so, so I'm gonna shake the camera, we're, we're exhausted. Um, so we got 7.30 to right around five. We managed to get two or three pretty good solid coats on the building. Our color matches really came out good. Uh, really good. Um, uh, we got lucky, I mean, to be that good. We're usually pretty darn close, but this was even, uh, even closer than that. Look at all this, how all that was black and all that's gone. So, and look at this wood, just gorgeous. You can see in there too. So we've already started to put lights and stuff back up. Um, we're feeling the crunch. Uh, all the deck is sprayed. Uh, I'm gonna roll that deck out with that other deck correct material tomorrow. Underneath is all done. We even did these beams. Uh, we had enough stain, so we did everything. Normally I don't do underneath the decks, um, but if we're already in the material, we've got two guns, four guys. Um, yeah, there's no need why we uh, can't just go on ahead and hit it. Isn't that nice? It looks gorgeous. It's so hard to tell from these cameras though. I mean, especially iPhone camera. Even my HD cameras, they just don't show. It's still wet, as you can tell. It's shiny in a lot of places. A lot of stain. And we're talking close to 30 gallons of stain on this building. Um, I kicked our butt. We didn't stop all day. I think we kind of ate while we stained even. Um, but oh my goodness, it looks amazing. Still shiny, as you can see, that's just still drying. It's gonna dry for a week, probably. It's not seeping anymore. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so bad, good news. Uh, we got a shield down here still. Uh, good news is we got all that stuff done. Look, look at that. Oh. Bad news. We got into these. We started taking them and looking at underneath them, and they all have rot. Um, they're rotted underneath. So here we go. So that's all the way through, even with a new, thanks, uh, even with a new, uh, tire or even with a new piece of rebar it's already rotted so unfortunately that's going to be something that has to be uh, all those have to be replaced with new um, railroad, railroad ties. ties so but we can do that too just not this week but uh, let us know if that is something you want to have done isn't that nice we'll talk more about that on the phone look at that lid oh it came out nice really came out nice so all of our socket covers, are, we paint those so they're drying to go back on. So that's why they're not on now. Oh, it came out good. Um, that's kind of how we do our plastic. I'm gonna back up a ways the sun's right in our face. But let's see if I can. of a spray day so the reason why we moved the sign back up high is that no matter what we did even if we tried to sand sanding would be even worse no matter what we did it was gonna leave a big white square there I mean once something's been there as long as that has been there uh, it's pretty much impossible for us to I mean unless we're going with a solid stain and, and you know like we uh, definitely expressed on this one was our main goal was to get as close to the original color as possible. So as, um, you know, just for the HOA, but for you too, we're trying not to go super dark. It's a little dark right now, but it's cause it's soaking wet. So it will dry. Um, but so that's the only reason why we didn't, but, um, so that's where we're at. I'm exhausted. I'm going home. We'll call you guys tonight or talk to you in the morning.